But we'll hop back in here. Start up right where we left off. Alright, so... You guys remember, I had just solved a puzzle. I guess I'm dealing with a boss now. Okay. Alright, we're getting our ass kicked pretty good here. Wow, like... Alright, the camera angles suck. Ow, 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 ow! I'm not allowed to do anything! Like, as soon as you get hit by that, you kind of just have to deal with it. Get the dogs out of here! Wow, dude, like... I'm not allowed to do anything. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Double trigger. Okay, does that mean he's dead because he turned into orbs? Like, that boss could have, like, really been tough if it was Devil May Cry 1. But it wasn't. <laughs> Hello? Mission's over. I didn't realize we were that close to the end. Mission 12. Can we see here? It looks like there is 18 missions total. We might beat this today. Took a look on Google. People like this because of the range, they say. I'm gonna try and level it up and see what happens. Oh, that's right, I got machine guns now.
Alright, so I just can't get up through there. What is happening here? I'm not allowed to attack anything with a sword. The camera angle is not giving me a lot of information to go with. The guns... I have no idea. What... This is what I'm talking about with conveyance. What do you guys think I'm supposed to do? If I, if I try to move... I get hit by this thing. There's like a, it's like a flat layer of lightning is stopping me from moving from any direction, but I am. It won't stop moving. All right, here we go. Here's some progress. Okay, this doesn't make any sense, dude. <laughs> like. Okay, so apparently some of these things the diamonds are underneath I like it's giving me a headache like the 3D space and camera angle thing that they're doing with this particular event is so god awful. I can't understand where I am in space. Like, this is actually hurting my head. There's some differences between the two. Lucy is 13 missions, so it won't take a long. There's some different levels, different final boss. Consensus on Lucius combat is one of the best parts of DMC2. Alright, well, we'll take a look at it. Um. We'll play a few levels of her, and if if hers isn't drastically different, we'll just we'll just check out her combat, and then we'll wrap it up. Oh, thanks for, like, bumping into me a little bit and causing me to lose control. Oh, my God. I can't. Okay, I'm just going to let it kill me. You have to give players conveyance. You have to explain to the player what you want them to do. Now, when we come in here, the camera angle zooms in on the diamonds. But if I shoot the diamonds with my gun, they never take any damage. So that establishes to a player real early on that the diamonds are undamageable. There's an unlock to play both of them? Uh, oh, do you, okay. I don't know where it put me, but I found a secret level room in the process. Uh, does it unlock Virgil? 
if you beat both stories. Yeah, well, I, I want to know if it's Virgil. It's not Virgil. Is it somebody cool? It is somebody cool. Alright, the game's really old. I want to know who it is. Is it Sparta? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, it's Trish! That's kind of cool. Pain in the keister. Yeah, I get that you want me to go down that hole. I don't know what I just picked up. <laughs> Alright, let's see what, 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 what we got shaking here. Nothing. Okay. Presumably people like this sword because of the range on it, but I'm not really seeing like an incredible range. Oh, yo, what up? Did you find what you were looking for? Yes. Now we can stop Arius' ambition. Whatever. Whatever. But, actually, I do not deserve this power. Bring this to Mathieu for me, please. I... I've got something that I need to take care of. What's up, bud? Talking about boss design.
Yo! Hey, Belly, can you take the runes I earned and divvy it up to everybody who died? Yowch! Ouch! The old ball and chain. Wow, that didn't give me a lot of... A lot of orbs. Oh my god, guys. Ignore all that. Sorry. I was trying to do this. Seems you have obtained the final arcana. It's from your daughter. Sounds good, Noah. Have a good day at school, bud. What are you doing, Granny? What are you doing, Granny? There is one more thing I need to ask of you, son of Sparta. My daughter went to face Arius all by herself. Please, take these, and save Lucia. If it's heads. Your lucky streak continues, Granny. I don't know what to think of that. All right. Why do you keep doing that? It's not moving over. That's really weird. There it goes. Jeez. Okay, suddenly she got cat. Cat. I don't understand what's going on in the story. That man is going to bring me the Arcana shortly. You will live to see that. <laughs> Calm down, Heihachi. That's just a piece of crap. Oh, Arcana. Here's another three for you. Crap like that doesn't interest me. But your swan song will. What? I just want the orbs. Yeah! <laughs> 
I like him sitting on the bar though, that's pretty fun. Would love to know where he went. Oh, there, there he is. There he is. Okay. Apparently when you hit somebody with a second bullet, it hits harder. Whoa, you summoned a big boy. What? Well, I know what a swan song is, but just like... Dante saying that's like really fucking weird. It's so easy. I must obtain the power of Argosax. Or I cannot transcend all living things. Too easy. Yeah, agreed. Yes. Mm. You cannot win. Someone is holding you. This pirouette was too strong. Forget about me. Kill Arius. Don't worry. I've got you. Is the voice actor for Dante in this one the same as Arthas? It sounds a lot like Arthas. Whoa, what? What is happening? What? What? All right. Why did you save me? I was created by him. Every hero has a weakness. But the <laughs> ritual was activated because of me. There's still time. We have until the sun is completely eclipsed. But we didn't miss something. We missed how everything. How are you going to enter the building? The entrance is... Where there's a will, right? What? What? It's giving me an aneurysm. Not the same voice actor. Damn. Why does it keep robbing me of my double trigger? It keeps taking my double trigger away, which is really frustrating. Oh my god.
This is gonna take forever. Wow. Movement of the demon world. Slowly intensifying. Need to release three more powers in order to reach the demon world. Great googly moogly. Like, Devil May Cry is like known for embracing its own cheese. But this one, I don't know, like the cheese is just not fitting. Okay. I mean, this is concerning. I like how Twitch has this classified as action horror. I never really considered Devil May Cry to be a horror game. That's green, right? That's not gold. He's the voice of an unnamed soldier in Metal Gear Solid 3. Maybe. I mean, not maybe, I'm sure he is. But maybe I remember him from there. going on with the street like demon version of cartoon world So last night, the wife and I started a new TV show. It's on Netflix. It's based off this Dark Horse comic book series called Umbrella Academy. I highly suggest it. Super good. What sucks is there's only one season out so far, though, so you might consume it a bit quick. I saw that you did that. Thanks so much, Billy. That uh, kind of awesome. If if we stay on top of that, I, I might. I don't want to make any promises, but if we stay on top of that, I might be able to do daily uploads. Which I I bet people would greatly appreciate. I think that would help the YouTube channel probably tremendously. Yeah, I would, I mean, I did too when I was able to, when we first started out, I was able to do that a little bit, but 
Like when we were doing a uh, history of gaming Metal Gear, I was able to do it daily, but it just, I didn't have, I just couldn't find the time. So yeah, guys, check out Umbrella Academy, though. Like, really good show. The concept is that 43 women around the world suddenly give birth at the exact same time. Here's the catch. None of those women were pregnant at the beginning of the day. Ooh. They are spontaneously pregnant and give birth to a baby. 43 different women around the world all at the same time. And this dude uh, tries to adopt as many of them as possible. And he gets a hold of seven. And then he starts... Uh, like, studying them. And they all have superpowers. Kind of. Some of the, Like, not traditional superpowers, though. And, uh, he, he creates the Umbrella Academy. Like, a like a little superhero team. It's super intriguing. Based off a, a Dark Horse comic series I thought, I think was in the 2000s. Really, it's really interesting. I, I'm, we're really enjoying it. I almost stayed up really late last night and just watched it instead of like getting sleep to be able to stream. Get me orbs. So I need two, I need to get two more of those glowy orb combo things. And wasn't this the town we went through at the beginning of the game? And it sure is the same assets. I'll put on a pot of coffee. <laughs> yeah, that line was great. The world ends in eight days. I'll put on a pot of coffee. Like, I was just like, how human is that? Like, I mean, if if you gotta save the world, you gotta start somewhere. You might as well start with a pot of coffee. Like.
That was a pretty good chunk. See, because you're able to, like, do that kind of stuff, that's what kind of makes this game lame. That health bar is dropping fast enough. Killed all the things, ladies and gents. Hey, there's another orb. bit of shooting to figure out where they are. Ow. Hey! You fucking chocolate flavored asshole I what was I going for there like you're an asshole but you're pleasant like I man I am off my game today all right now where was that orb I was gonna hit Where'd that orb go? There it is. I heard coffee. Yeah, I need a I need to grab some coffee on the way to work today. Or I'm not gonna make it. There's actually a Starbucks in our building, but fucking barista yesterday did not use soy like I told him I'm lactose intolerant I love milk but I'm lactose intolerant and if I have milk I just get put in so much pain and I'll have I'll have digestive gas so bad that I'll actually cause myself back pain because my the, like my stomach will blow but I won't be able to like burp you know so I'll just get like this air pocket that pushes on my spine and I'll just get the worst back pain imaginable. Feels like somebody's jammed an ice pick in between my vertebrae. It's so fucking painful. And like the last two hours of my shift yesterday and my entire drive home, I just thought I was gonna die the whole time because I just, I feel like somebody shoved an air hose down my throat. I felt like I had eaten, swallowed whole, 
an entire pack of Mentos and then chugged a two liter of Diet Coke. That's what I felt like. I was just in so much pain. Just because he put milk in my coffee. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell the guy today. I'll be like, man, you I asked for soy and you definitely used milk. Like, I can guarantee that she used milk. Or an actual dairy-based creamer of some sort. Like, and I don't like what I don't like being that kind of person. There's so many people that's like, oh my god, you gave my son wheat or I don't know. No yeast-based products! Like, just... Mistakes happen, you know? And so long as you don't tell a person, like, I have a legitimate allergy that will kill me if you put it in there. Like, that's, you know, that you should be upset about, right? But, uh... Like, most gluten allergies just cause people to have an upset stomach or... Lactose intolerance cause you just to have, like, an upset stomach. I don't go in and start, like, calling for people's jobs on that shit. I just tell them, like, hey, you fucked up. And, that, and, and you made me hurt all day. <laughs> That's a problem I can resolve with the individual, you know? Now he does it again after I've talked to him. Yeah, we're having a conversation with the boss. Ain't no two ways about it. Because then it's not a mistake, it's neglect. I need to know where this last orb is. If you guys saw it and I missed it, just go ahead and holler. I mean, like, I don't know, I've worked in service positions before, and I my biggest philosophy is if you got a problem, come tell me. Like... Anytime I, I'm at a job, people are like, I can't believe Zig did this. And then they go to my boss and sit at me, I'm like, bitch, you fucking rat. <laughs> like, why didn't you just come and tell me? I'm doing something that's making your job harder. I don't want to do that. You involve a boss when you don't think the person's going to be able to, like, they're going to refuse to to change what they're doing, you know? See, managers manage people, right? I don't... You manage your job. So if you're doing your job wrong, I'm going to give you a chance to manage your job. And then if you refuse to improve your job in a, in a reasonable manner, if it's something you should improve on, right? If you refuse, I no longer have a problem with you and your job. I have a problem with just you. So I need to go to somebody who manages people. I know, that's just how I'd want to be treated. I'd want a customer to come and tell me, like, yo, uh, when you did XYZ, you made a mistake. And I'd be like, ah, shit, thanks. We'll fix it. Yeah, if somebody's like, nah. I'm not gonna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's play a game called, let's see if we can get you fired. I think I found the orb. Is it over here? I saw a white light over here. I have gone in a circle somehow. Alright. I need I need to know where it is. I have no idea where I'm going. Let's see here. I'm on a... Uh... Shit, I don't remember what mission I'm on. Look at this, I've gone in a complete circle. I think I'm on mission 14. Is it in here? Let's <laughs> go. 
There it is, it's up there. <laughs> that was actually really cool. Pronto, Mancha. Alright, I wonder what this is. Pink! Oh my god! Healing Heart, Magic Stone with the Heart of a Merciful Goddess. All right, let's do some equipments. Okay, so aerial heart, all right. Move faster, electro heart, and then let's do healing heart. I would love to be able to uh, activate double trigger as a means to heal myself. I like that idea. Alright, so now I need to get to that spot with the weird eyeball thing. And I have no idea where that was. It was inside of a doorway somewhere. This way? I feel like my phone keeps lighting up. One second. No. Biddly diddly do 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 diddly do 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 do. Mm hmm. Got some green orbs out of that, that's good. Alright, there's the door. Well, maybe it's that door. Or that door. Alright, so that's 20k to get that leveled up again, and I think that's what I will save for. Oh, this door open, huh?
I don't know why there's so much motion blur. It's impressive how quick I break each boss. Oh, he got me. Oh, we are real close to getting an upgrade on our uh, sword again. I don't like clouds, it's sort of sick, it's a hot dark place. two minutes. Get him, get him, get him.
Yo, dog. I don't know what you want me to do here. Do I just... the hell? Do I gotta do it faster? Like, well, clearly I have to do it faster, but... <laughs> it's a different set of monsters. Okay. Um, actually, I think I got the strongest sword I'm gonna have. What are you doing? Stop it. Ugh. Now I'm just getting frustrated whenever my time's being wasted, like with these big hit animations I take. Weird. We got it that time. I had like multiple waves last time, and this time I didn't have multiple waves. Okay. Alright, now we get to upgrade the sword again. We, 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 we went all in on one sword. So, we'll see how much that pays off for us. Emissions from the end. There's a 40,000 upgrade. Alright, so we're inside of his demon tower mansion. The demonic Trump Tower, or... That's kind of redundant, it's just Trump Tower. Oh, but it's Is that it? There's nothing else up here? Okay. Hey, 
And it might be even less than that now, Billy. There's some talks of removal. I don't know if it will happen, though. Probably won't, but... I had to press circle to get in there. Oh! Who wants to go first? Still work? Oh, I don't get to taunt in this one. Fuck your vase! What's this way first, though? Okay, well, first off, there's no door over here, right? the point of these hallways? Like, are they trying to add ambiance with this? Okay. What is this, Mega Man? I didn't realize it was those eyeballs that, like, teleport you to a... You don't have to kill all the bad guys for it to open up. Sacrilege! Must generate distortion and bring the world closer to the demon world. Okay, day. Morning, Mountain Dew. How you doing, bud? Blue Orb! I 
I assume I backtrack now? Still up, man, that sucks. Just like this camera. What the fuck? This motherfucker again? With the doges? Yeah, a wallet's off screen, that's real fair. Wow, dude. <laughs> Come on, Bulwark. the dogs I really hate that like he gets to hit you when you're like your hitbox is always active but enemy hitboxes aren't see that like it's like Get locked up, and it's all over for you. Oh my god, give me, like, the ability to actually iframe out of that stuff, bro. Come on now. Uh, I'm not allowed to, s to dodge, because I'm not allowed to see him. His camera angles are atrocious. Did that actually deplete his health bar? I guess it did. God, like he's easy but frustrating still. Like, I don't like getting attacked from off screen. Like, you can dodge stuff, but it's off screen. So, one sacrilege per door, I guess? Is that the deal? It's a capper demon from DS1. Kinda. Well, hopefully I don't have to fight him again. Maybe that's the end of that. Actually, fighting him wasn't the problem. It's just like having the camera angle do that shit. 
I really feel like the camera angles in the fixed camera positions were an afterthought after the fights and levels were designed. They're like, cool, we made this thing. Now where should we put the camera? Like, in boss fights, fixed camera angles, there should be, it should be limited as much as possible. It should just be like, one, at most two camera angles for a boss fight room, you know? Don't. Don't make me go through like, a bunch of different camera shifts when I'm trying to fight stuff. You're like, what's going on here? Why am I not allowed to see anything? Oh my god, the auto-targeting, the cameras! The true final boss! The worst! Like, let's put these giant meat sacks in the middle of the room so you can't see either. The body hijacking with the... So, like, uh, every swing has these long strides. Coupled with auto-targeting stuff that's off-screen, it, like, body hijacks your character, and it's just... Ugh. I totally get... the bad reviews, like mostly camera angle, which sucks, because the circle button, they did some amazing things with the circle button in this game. Being able to, to like, wall jump and wall run and, and do these, like, cool flips and stuff. Like, they killed it with that. Okay.
what I missed. I heard laughing. I I can't explain it. It was just like a like the way they cut a scene it was god awful, and it was hilarious. Amazon on the fritz, there you go. No, the, uh, you talking about naming the episodes, uh, like, B and A, you know, or like, Dante episode, nah. Alright, so these guns ain't gonna work. Wow, man, I'm not allowed to, like, strategically dodge. I just have to spam dodge. It's the only way it works. Look at how much they're doing. I'm not allowed to stop and fight. Yeah, this actually reminds me of the uh, boss from uh, Black Temple, the Faces of Torment or whatever. Bro, I got you so close. On, man, like recover faster. Dude, this boss fight's hard enough with the faces going invisible, though. That That's just icing on the cake. Oh, shit! That was tough. Reliquary of Souls, that's the name of that boss, yeah. Okay. Yay! Evil must be opposed and destroyed. 
Uh, we really don't have enough to do anything. I could level up the submachine guns. I'm using them kind of a lot, so let's do it. Spoopy. Problem. You is is that the medallia? You switch them? A false coin for a false god. How could you not tell it wasn't glowing the same? Showtime. What? What? What is? Never letting her come down. actually kill these girls. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, he just like casually shoots shoots me. He's like, whatever. No big deal. This is so annoying, dude. Like, I, that whole time that I was doing anything but attacking him, I was trying so hard to, like, focus on him out of the out of the mobs that were there. But this auto-targeting, like, there was two, maybe three combos right there, like, full combos, that did not connect with the boss, and in fact connected with nothing, because the game decided to target something that was too far away from me. This auto-target, like, if I could turn off the auto-targeting, I would love it. Like, only auto- only target like this, like, lock on when I hold R1. Like, why is this, like, mandatory? I get why the game didn't get a super great rating. But you guys will see why Don't May Cry 3 gets such a good rating. And Don't May Cry 3 is hard, too. was okay. That was an okay line. will be over. Big bang. I thought credits. I was a descendant of the clan that protects Vide Marly. The ones who have the blood of the devils. But the truth is I was created by Arius. I could become a monster and attack the humans at any time. Now Kill me. It's your job to hunt devils. was incomplete but the door to the demon world is wait what are you doing my job is hunting devils once you enter the demon world you may never be able to return I'll go I'm expendable hey bye you don't need to worry about me. I'm happy if I can die like a human. No. Devils never cry. 
But he said the thing. He said the thing. Fate. Heads, I go. Tails, you go. See you around. Don't you want to hear the story about Sparta from Mathieu? I know. He did the same thing. Hold on to my coin, Lucia. The hunter shall pass all who came before him. Surpass. Surpass. He's going to surpass him. Let's go. What the fuck? Come on, he's moving super slow and I can't hit him. Ow, it went the wrong way. Hey, it's Griffin from Devil May Cry 1. This game looks so good! <laughs> Mwah! A masterpiece! <laughs> I get more hits over here. I don't know, man, like, I'm not one who tries to break games. I don't look for it, but I have broken every boss in this game to at least a small degree where I can get them, like, stuck somewhere for, like, a few minutes and get some free damage in. Um, yeah, they, this, this game is super easily broken. I am blown away. And that that life bar is just vibrating.
I'm hoping I can kill the tentacle. I don't like the tentacle. I think it's dumb. I think this is maximizing my damage pretty well. Except it's doing that now. Just die, will you? got rid of the tentacle. This is hard mode. I mean, it's highest difficulty I can get it on. Oh, this one actually hits you. Broken. Game's broken. Boss is unbeatable. Ow! Okay, he went for an extra one. No big deal. Charged longer on that one. Okay. Can you have some consistency, please? You know, you need to give the player a chance to to attack. Just consistently breaking it, found a sweet spot in there. Asking for consistency against the chaos boss. Like, this is just absurd. Ah! Oh, I really wish. It's so stupid because you're. My, my problem is, is you dodge so far. So one, we're fighting a boss from Devil May Cry 1. He has not been in Devil May Cry 2. Okay. So they're using mechanics from the first game, but your fighting mechanics are from the second game. And I don't feel like they balanced them because they rapid fire those things at me. And you have such a long animation when you're dodging that when you dodge through one attack and then come out of it, your animation recovery from that dodge turns on your hitbox you don't have invulnerability frames but you can't dodge again so you always like you're gonna consistently eat the second shot like this i'm using the wall to interrupt my animation and it's working a little bit wow 
Yeah, this is... This is broken in both directions. Like, we're taking absurd amounts of damage with very little uh, health regain. And there's whole parts of this boss that I don't even have to move to kill it. This guy's not so bad. I need to be better about my dodges and I should be alright. Try and keep uh, Double Trigger from being maxed out. Damn it, dude. Like, let me recover. Okay, stupid. I thought for a second I was able to hit the meat for free. Alright, so let me get some of these health orbs. Yeah, man, I see why people did not care for Devil May Cry 2. Like, this is a unbalanced mess. In both directions. I'm sorry, but if I'm... Sp I, I just feel like if I'm spamming dodge roll, I, I should not be hit by shit. But... I'm gonna use this guy to charge up my, uh... Devil trigger. just have Griffin to deal with. That would be the only real challenge. I honestly don't know about Griffin, to be real honest. Uh, I'm kind of low on health. For starters. And Griffin's not made for Devil May Cry 2. He was made for Devil May Cry 1, where you have a quicker roll. I I don't know. Griffin's the hardest part about this boss. The rest of it's pretty easy. This part's just incredibly boring, right here.
Oh, you said, can you break him, not beat him? I didn't read that right. I wonder if I can break... The only thing I think I can do to break Griffin is to get close to him. Um, I wonder if he has a melee attack. Because I could probably break the melee attack. Because what you... Like, what's breaking this boss is that it doesn't move. It doesn't reposition itself, so... If you can get in a position where you're in a blind spot, you'll permanently be in that blind spot because there's nothing they can do about it. Man, you're such a hero, Dante. This boss? No, I don't think it's supposed to reposition. Like, this is amalgamation of a bunch of different bosses from this game, plus Griffin from the first game. And of course, those bosses in their own versions, they all reposition. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. With this riveting gameplay. <laughs> Alright, so now I gotta figure out Griffin. Uh, there's a health orb over here. Let's see, there's one right over here. Ow, piece of shit, dude. Weird. There we go. See what happens. Oh, great. What is this? What is this? She's hot. Get it? <laughs> Whoa, he? What happened? The despair embodied. So you just like to teleport and take three hits. Got it. Wow, dude. Dude, this guy is super busted. Dude, I can't. I can't do anything about this guy. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to... I mean, I'll be able to beat him eventually, but this is... Uh, he's hard, hard, hard. 
like, the game's got such a slow response to dodges and jumps and stuff like that. All of your actions have an insane amount of wind-up. This guy is super quick for the controls you're given. I don't know about this, like, I'm seriously concerned. See, like, I'm, I'm spamming dodge and I'm still getting hit. Like, I got a problem with that. I'm sorry, what do you want a person to do with that attack? Like, when you design that attack, you're like, and the counter is... What? Because there is no counter. Oh my god, it's such a waste of double trigger. Okay, so it's not... Okay, I see a green orb back here. So it's not do a bunch of damage and stun him out of the animation. Oh my god! So like, for that, you have to get a certain dodge going and spam it. There's like six different kind of dodge animations probably four probably not six but um some of them are really slow and some of them actually dodge things appropriately like this one right here the roll is not a good dodge where is that green ow whoa 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 That was Ivy as fuck from Soul Calibur. Oh man. See like that, that's good. That's what I want to see. Ow, that's not what I want to see. <laughs> So it reminds me of the move from Super Smash Bros. Right, well, I mean, I can try a more Dark Souls approach, but like, Dark Souls uh, in this game does not work well because you can't, you can't dodge. Like, there's so much wind up to your dodges. Like, you gotta, you have to predict movements to be able to dodge them properly in this game, but uh, it ended up being all right. It's still easy. It's still easy, even though I had some frustrations with the dodges. This is still wicked easy. So, who did I just fight? The embodiment of despair. Like, what? Like, why is that the last boss? I don't know, Dante. Just do some cool shit, bro. What? You poked him in the face? What happened? What is this? It's still cool. <laughs> yeah, let's go all the way to hell. Okay, so technically, that is the end 
of the Devil May Cry story. So, like, there's a bunch of debate on whether or not Devil May Cry 5 takes place after 2 or 4. They say, se like, the advertisements say several years after Devil May Cry 4. Well, Devil May Cry 4, though, happens... Some people think before Devil May Cry 2. So what's being said is they think either... They're just saying several years after 4 so that people don't go, Wait a minute, what happened in 2? Like, they like they don't concern themselves with the old games. They just kind of focus on it's after 4. But the way that the story had been thought before was that it was Devil May Cry 3, 1, 2... No, so it's Devil May Cry 3, and then Devil May Cry 4, and then 1, and then it's 2. And then 2, he rides into hell. Um, and he rides the motorcycle into hell. Now, and then what people, some fans are thinking is that Devil May Cry 5 is a sequel to 2, because Dante's not been shown up until, like, the one of the last trailer reveals. And he rides back in on what looks like the same motorcycle. And he's way old now. And he stays young in all the games up until Devil May Cry 5 where he's old now. So they're, they're pretty sure that, uh... He just rode into hell there. And what comes next is Devil May Cry 5. Let me see if we can find a, uh, a timeline. Okay, so the series chronological, chronologically is Devil May Cry 3, then 1, then the animated series, then 2, and then 4, and then 5. So 4... I don't know how 4 takes place after 2, because he's in hell. I don't know where... Because Dante's in 4. Uh... As he just comes back. And they just don't talk about him coming back from hell? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I already, uh, alright, I already saved. Let's go to total results. He's, this is not gonna be great. Look at that. I didn't even get an S in there anywhere. Uh... Dante Disc. So it says Dante Disc because it's a two-disc game on the PlayStation 2. Um, and you pop in her disc. And that's where you get next challenge, Lucia Disc. And you pop in her disc, you get to play her story. Dante Costume Change and Mission Select Mode are now available. Diesel for successful living. There you go. So, this is gonna just load Dante's thing, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. So here's what we'll do. We're gonna take a quick break. I'm going to restart the software. Take a super quick break. Let me get the puppy out and uh, let him start eating breakfast. I suggest you guys get up, stretch, get some water and all that, and then come right back because we're going to start up right now the Lucia side of this game uh, in just a few moments. So don't go nowhere. We'll see you guys real soon. And I'll leave you here on the uh, title screen. Be back in just a minute. <laughs> 